Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Anthony and today I will be bringing you guys 50 features that were removed in Minecraft. Now, if you guys do enjoy today's video, then be sure to give this video a like rating. Now, if this ginormous video is able to hit over 10,000 likes, then that would just be amazing. Not gonna lie, it would be so awesome for Christmas. Oh, and if you want to see more videos like this one, then be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. But anyways, guys, enough of me rambling let's go ahead and get straight into today's video i hope you guys enjoy it and happy holidays for a very long time there was an option in the video settings for minecraft known as 3d anaglyph which was pretty much a 3d option for minecraft when enabled it applied a red cyan stereoscopic effect and when wearing 3d glasses it could actually see different parts of the game in varying depths making the world look like it was popping out in front of you however but in the snapshots for the 1.13 update aquatic, the 3D anaglyph feature was removed for unknown reasons, but my guess would be that not many people were using the feature, so they saw no use for it and just got rid of it. In the beta 1.5 update, achievements were added into the game where players could pretty much achieve, well, achievements by doing various different objectives in Minecraft. When you achieved a specific achievement, you would get a little pop-up in the top right hand corner saying, achievement get. However, in version release 1.12, achievements were ultimately replaced by advancements, which is pretty much the same concept as achievements, but it's just laid out slightly differently. Chain armor is known as the rarest form of armor in the game due to the fact that you are not able to craft it and you can only obtain it from mob drops or villager trading. However, from Minecraft in-dev all the way up to release 1.7, there was a crafting recipe for chain armor that required the use of fire. Now you weren't able to obtain fire at all unless you spawned it in by using commands, so the crafting recipe was never visible in vanilla. However, with the release of Minecraft 1.8, the crafting recipe for chain armor was removed. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, there were two texture files that could be found within the game files that some players believed to be texture files for furniture. The first texture file was believed to be the side profile of a chair and the second texture file was believed to be the side view of a table. However, both of these texture files were removed from the game files in a later version of Minecraft. In the inf dev phase for Minecraft's development, a texture called fluff.png was added into the game and it was used as a texture for the clouds in version inf dev but it was later removed in early alpha. In the beta stage of Minecraft's development, there was a very unique feature in the game where if you did not own a premium account and you played Minecraft by cracking it, then a message would appear saying Minecraft beta unlicensed copy with a sad face. This message was likely there to encourage players who did not purchase Minecraft to, well, purchase Minecraft. Or it was to just make you feel bad for not buying the game, but who knows? However, in version beta 1.8, the code for this message appearing on screen was removed. During the development phase of release 1.8, a feature was added into the game where mobs would run away from creepers when they were about to explode. However, the feature of mobs running away from creepers was removed due to performance issues, and I can definitely see why because it looks very laggy, not gonna lie. During the beta stage of Minecraft, a texture appeared in the game file which was known as Crying Obsidian. Now, Crying Obsidian was a texture that was intended to be used for a block for setting your spawn point. However, with the introduction of beds in version beta 1.3, the project for Crying Obsidian was abandoned and then the texture for Crying Obsidian was removed in beta 1.5. Enchanted Golden Apples were added in release 1.3.1 and up until the 1.9 update, you were actually able to craft them. To craft an enchanted golden apple, you would need one apple in the middle surrounded by eight gold blocks, so it was quite an expensive recipe. However, with the release of the 1.9 combat update, the crafting recipe for the enchanted golden apple was removed and you can now only find the enchanted apple naturally in your Minecraft world. The Far Lands was the area that formed the edge of the infinite map in Java edition versions prior to beta 1.8. The Far Lands would occur 
occur roughly about 12,550,820 blocks from the centre of the Minecraft world. There were two kinds of farlands, the edge farlands and the corner farlands. Both of them formed extremely strange terrain as you can see, but the farlands was ultimately fixed and I guess removed in beta 1.8. At some point during Minecraft's development, a particle was added for footsteps, which meant when the player would walk around, they would produce footstep particles, but it was never actually used in-game publicly, and it was removed in Snapshot 17W47A in 1.13. Glass pillars were tall, glass-like structures added in Beta 1.9. They were used to mark the location of strongholds as the Eye of Ender was not yet added to the game. The glass pillar was removed in a later version of Beta 1.9 due to the addition of the Eye of Ender. Before version release 1.10, villagers that generated in your Minecraft world actually used gravel pathways as roads. However, when version 1.10 came around, this was changed to where gravel pathways would be replaced by grass pathways, and they look like this. Horses, along with horse armour, were added in the 1.6.1 update, and there was in fact a crafting recipe for horse armour during the snapshot phase. So in the 13W16A snapshot for version 1.6, you were able to craft, let's say, diamond horse armour, for example, by using one wool and six diamonds. However, in the 13W18 a snapshot, the crafting recipe for horse armor was removed and you can now only find horse armor in naturally generated structures. Horse saddles were items that were added in snapshot 13w16a during the development of 1.6, which was the update where they added horses to the game. Horse saddles worked exactly the same as regular saddles, but only exclusively worked for horses. Taming a horse was required before putting a horse saddle on it, and the horse saddle also had a crafting recipe recipe which simply used 5 leather and 3 iron ingot. However, horse saddles were later removed from the game in Snapshot 13W18A and normal saddles were used for horses instead. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, in the in-dev phase of the game, there was a really dangerous feature in the game where the lava source block would spread infinitely until it filled out every single block it could possibly fill. So as you can imagine, if you place the lava lava source block in, well, a very dodgy place, then things will get out of control very, very quickly. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, during the development of 1.8, the physics of the minecart were adjusted in a very dramatic way. In Snapshot 14W11A, some changes were made to the minecart to where they could go faster and further and also derail at corners if they were going too fast. However, all of these minecart changes changes were reverted in a later snapshot in 1.8 after the developers decided that the behaviour for the minecart was too buggy. The flower you see on screen is called the Peonia flower and it was in the game files of Minecraft for a very long time but never actually implemented into the final game. You were able to see a screenshot of this flower on Jeb's Instagram but like I said it never made it into Minecraft. It looks very similar to the peony flower that is found in Minecraft right now, but the texture file for this flower was eventually removed in 1.13. In version beta 1.8, village structures were added into the game to spawn naturally in your Minecraft world. However, they did not spawn with any villagers. Minecraft developer Notch mentioned that he might add pigmen as village townspeople to spawn within the villagers. However, when beta 1.9 came around, a different villager mob was introduced introduced, and that is of course the villager we know and love today. During the in-dev and alpha phases of Minecraft's development, there was an unclickable play tutorial level button on the main menu screen for Minecraft. However, there was no tutorial level in the game's code, which meant this play tutorial level button served no purpose at all. It was finally removed during the transition from alpha to beta. Brick pyramids were large and extremely rare structures that generated random randomly in your Minecraft world in version Minecraft Infdev. The pyramid itself was completely solid and it had no interior, so it was pretty useless to be honest apart from getting a bunch of bricks. Brick pyramids were then removed in a later version of Minecraft Infdev. In Notch's unfinished game, Legend of the Chamber, there was a quiver item available to be picked up as loot. Notch reused the sprite from Legend of the Chamber
chamber and implemented it into Minecraft in early indev. The quiver item remained in the game files for many years up until the 1.9 combat update where Minecraft developer Dinnerbone tweeted out a screenshot of an image basically showing off the quiver being in use. The purpose of the quiver was to basically hold arrows inside of it, but Dinnerbone felt that holding arrows in the offhand felt more natural, and he then decided to remove the quiver texture entirely. The rose was a beautiful looking flower added into Minecraft in 2009. It had been in the game for many years, all the way up until 1.7 in 2013, where they removed it from the game and replaced it with the poppy. Why they did this, I will never know, and I was very sad when they did this because I loved the rose. It was such a good flower. It looked amazing. I don't know why they couldn't have just kept the rose and the poppy. I don't know why they had to replace it. But uh, yeah, I was very upset by this. Anyways, Anthony, it's just a flower. Move on. <laughs> In an early in-dev version for Minecraft, the player could open the inventory screen and view their name and three stats which read attack, defense and speed. Now these only existed for a very brief period of time and when Notch was asked about it, he said he could not remember exactly why the feature was even implemented and subsequently removed it. Studded armor were several armor sprites that were added sometime around the in-dev phase of Minecraft. The armor sprites were taken from Minecraft developer Notch's unfinished game known as Legend of the Chambered along with other armor sprites such as leather armor. Studded armor was implemented into gameplay in early versions of in-dev but it was eventually removed from the game. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft there was a feature in the game where you were able to trade with the generic villager otherwise known as the green villager or nitwit. So this villager right here known as nitwit is the only villager within Minecraft that you are not able to trade with. However in earlier versions of Minecraft you were. So back in the day, you could only spawn the generic villager by using commands as they did not spawn naturally in your world. However, you could trade with them. As you can see on screen, I am able to trade 8 to 9 gold ingots for one emerald with the generic villager. However, when generic villagers were re-added in 1.11 to spawn naturally, you could no longer trade with them. Right clicking on them did, well, nothing. In version beta 1.8, a feature known as Void Fog was introduced into the game. As the player descended below Y17 in a cave, the Void Fog and some particles would start to appear. As the player travelled deeper in the cave, the Void Fog would become a lot more present until the player's visibility was reduced to just a few blocks. Eventually, the void fog would become so intense that you would just be left with complete darkness. The void fog feature was removed in release 1.8 due to some players commenting on having performance issues. In the early stages of Minecraft Alpha, there was a well type feature in the game known as Winter Mode. So in early Alpha, when you created a Minecraft world, you had a 75% chance of getting a a normal generic looking world like this, but you also had a 25% chance of getting the winter mode world, which looked like this. Basically, the winter mode world would be covered entirely with snow and four different types of snowflakes would fall constantly. However, in Alpha 1.2, the winter mode world type was removed due to the addition of biomes being in the game. But anyways, everybody, that just about concludes today's video. About 50 features that were removed in Minecraft. I really hope you all enjoyed it and or found it informative. Now, now once again, if you did enjoy this video, then be sure to leave this video a like rating. And if you want to see more videos, then be sure to subscribe to the channel as well. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching the video. Have an amazing holiday and Christmas if you're celebrating it. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.